All right, welcome back everybody. Uh, today is gonna be a real simple one. I am trying to do what I said and you guys all commented on my community post on my uh, on my Facebook, or not on my Facebook, well on my Facebook and on my uh, community feed in uh, the YouTube page, channel, thing. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's when you open up the main, like if you type in DWS Outdoors, it's right there. You can choose videos, playlist, and then community tab. Uh, just go in there every once in a while to keep up. Uh, I try to post things, you know, ask you guys questions, you know, try to get, you know, some feedback. I want I want to know what you guys want to see. Um, but to get to the point, you guys said that you wanted to see some crappie action, Um and the second one, I think, was walleye. So I'm going to try to put some iFish Pros out today, possibly for some crappie and walleye. Um, but I'm going to mainly be jigging for crappie, um, panfish, stuff like that. So hopefully, if you're seeing this, we got on some fish. Fish. I think that's a walleye in the bottom. Got that guy coming up. I got this guy coming up. I don't know if he's gonna commit though. Maybe this guy will. Uh oh, kind of guess crappie. We'll come back. Looks like he's coming back. No way. No way. Pretty sure that was a crappie because I think I ripped it out of his mouth. Another fish. fish on the bottom. It's coming up. Got him. <laughs> That's a pretty good hit too. What's oh, a white bass? If 
fun part about these guys is they'll chase just about anything down. And people wonder why I use the rip and wrap. <laughs> Gets them going early in the morning. Lucky I'm not keeping nothing right now. Let's go the other way, dude. Ultralight ripping up, glow. It works. There's two of them down there. I wonder if I can get one of these guys to shoot up to this. I have a feeling there's more down there. There's another one on the bottom. There are some big white bass in here, so... Could be fun if we get a bigger one. Especially if they shoot in and bite like that. It's actually the first white bass on my precision. I just realized that. All right guys, so as you can see, I set up shop here. Um, I wanna show you something. I drilled a huge grid of holes here, um, mainly because I was looking for a very specific spot. Um, on this body of water, wood is gold. So I was very specifically looking for a pile of wood. Uh, that's what that is set up on. So hopefully that allows me to pick off more fish than just that white bass. I did have one big crappie, I think, come up and hit. Uh, I set the hook too hard. <laughs> so I know I, I, I think it was a crappie because I ripped it right out of his mouth. And usually those, uh, those ripping wraps, if it's a bigger bony or mouth fish, it sticks them good and then you don't lose them right away. So I'm gonna put it on crappier over here. So we're on the right track. Um, it's getting sunny out. That's a good thing. So let's catch some fish. Okay, since I know I'm in the right area for crappie, I did bring my dead stick and my iFish Pro rods again. So today I'm going to be probably running a dead stick next to me in the shack and one iFish Pro rod outside. Uh, if I get more action away from the shack, for whatever reason, I'm going to probably put my other iFish Pro rod out. But that's a good way to kind of cover your basis is one, one tip-up rod, which this is set up. I can fish it for crappie and then uh, one rod in the house so it brings in fish to you. So should be good. So like I said, I'm going to set one of these iFish Pro Rods up. This is another spot I found wood. You can see it, and there's fish barking just above it. So what I'm probably going to do is set the bait just above where those fish are coming in, which looks like 16, 17 feet of water. This should be a good day. It's right before a big storm, so that usually gives you a chance to stick a bunch of fish. Okay, normally I don't fish little baits like this on my iFish Pros, but today I'm specifically targeting these crappie and uh, other white bass and panfish that are coming through. So, rosy reds tend to do better than the rest. So that's what we're putting down today. And there's no wind today, so I can set these super light going to work out perfectly for these. Um, what I like to do is if I'm running big baits and stuff like that, I use a bait feeder. Otherwise, if it's just non-windy day and I'm fishing for light panfish bites, then I leave uh, free spool if there's no, no wind to blow the line everywhere. Otherwise, you can still use the bait feeder, but this should work good. There's already fish down there, so I'm going to get this set up and get back in the shack. Okay, so same thing in here, but what I'm going to do is run my dead stick with a bobber on it just because it's easier, shorter, fits in the shack better. I could roll the knife fish pro in here, but I'm not going to. 
find me another good rosy set shallow okay so I still got that BY Bates set up on here uh, with the tungsten tubby toad I believe let to see if they'll come in on this otherwise I gotta drop that rip and wrap down and call them in but this should get them in I think there's actually one on my minnow right now a couple of them in on the bottom Hi fish pro, it's on there. <laughs> oh, it just got off. That felt like a really big crappie. Here comes one. Looks like he's coming up. I don't know what that is. It's tiny, whatever it is. <laughs> A little tiny crappy. Good to see him eating though. Got a bunch of fish down there right now. Got another flag. Oh, looks like it's on there. It would appear there's fish everywhere. I keep getting tip ups. Come back here, it's full of fish underneath me. We just gotta connect. Setting my fish pro. This guy ate it basically out of my hand, so I didn't even have a chance to turn on the freaking GoPro. Too small to keep, but it's good to see. Dead stick. Yep. Copy. <laughs> textbook came in on my jig and then uh, shot over and nailed my dead stick
can do that all day. That's fine. Just got it. Something big. This might be a catfish. <laughs> Most likely. <laughs> See those head shakes would normally be on a big walleye. But with how high this was off the bottom, I very much doubt this was a walleye. Yep. <laughs> it's a good eater. I want to eat some catfish for a while now, so I think I think I'm gonna keep this guy, give it a try. I'll spare you the gruesome details. Something really big just came in on the bottom. It's making my screen jump around. I think it's coming in. Leg. I fish flow popped, of course, right when I was uh, working a fish. What do I get the feeling you dropped it too? Nope, still there. A little walleye. Yep. It's just a little guy. Shooting in, shooting in for the kill. <laughs> Apparently there's a lot of walleye over here. <laughs> Sager, or <laughs> Sager, cigars, little guys. 
He didn't hesitate to eat this bait though. Wouldn't mind catching a bunch of those if they were like 15, 16 inches. <laughs> Just seen something down there messing with this guy, so I moved it. It's funny because I can mark it over here. Oh, he hit it. That one feels more like a crappie. The species we're after. <laughs> it's a nice one too. Looked like there were two of them down there. So I'm going to try and get back down there real quick here. And unfortunately for this guy, I am keeping these guys today. better whatever it is maybe a bigger wall or not oh, it is it is a bigger wall <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I don't know why I wasn't expecting that to come topside, but... <laughs> I'm gonna 18 and a half. I can keep that fish. <laughs> it's funny because they come back in here and there's a fish over here bugging my minnow. Like that, he ate my minnow. Another big crappie. This guy came down to it. Oh, and it's bigger than I thought it was going to be.
suspended keeper Y. <laughs> That's different. Was not expecting that. <laughs> I think I can leave now. All right, guys. So, obviously today we did uh, pretty good. Just gonna show you the dead well real quick here. <laughs> um, technically, it's a live well until I, you know, know for sure that I'm gonna get a couple more fish. Uh, just a little tip for you guys: if the ice is thick enough, you can drill partially way into it and make your own live well. But, anyways, I did get a couple of fish today, and I'm gonna be eating good tomorrow. So. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It took a long time to get this one. Obviously, you guys know that I only put out one last week. Uh, normally, it's like two or three, but you know the weather's been hectic, and I've been running all over the place looking for these fish. And today's the only day that I got them. But it's also going to storm here, so a little worried about the snow. But we'll see how things go. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like I said, obviously, if you're not new here, you know what's up. But if you are new, could you please just remember to?